Jo Leonard Moog was an American professional baseball second baseman who played 22 seasons in Major League Baseball MLB for the Houston Colt. Considered one of the greatest second basemen of all time, Morgan was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1990. Joe Leonard Morgan, born on 19 September 1943 in California, died on 11th October 2020 in the United States of America, said to obtain success, you must get the most out of your ability. And to do that, you must work on your weakness to obtain success. You have to work on your weakness. And what is your weakness? In our naturopathy, they say the breast cancer comes because the breast has not been used. In the olden days, they have children every year, one, one child. So milk is produced, that area has been used. When that area has not been used, it becomes cancerous. Hence, the uterus cancer also is the same. And when that is, when whichever area has not been used, then you have to massage the area. You have to do exercises. When you leave a particular area empty, you can see cockroaches, rats. So when God has given you the total body, and even Albert Einstein said you're only using 3% of your total energy, 3% of your brain or 2% of your brain, if you have used the totality, why you're not using? Because all the glitters is attracting you. And you wanted always to look outside. And to make you look outside, all the robbers have their tactics. When I took this ashram in Devanahalli in Bangalore, it was just 10 kilometers. You don't have any human beings just in the center of the forest. So I put the fence around and I asked the local people to stay in the night as security guards. They said, no, no, we won't stay. If you have to stay, you have to provide us four security guards. I said, why? So I stayed. When I stayed inside that time, we have Petromax. It's kind of a light which works on kerosene. So night it burns, you can hang it and you can get it on rent on the neighborhood village. So they hang the Petromax in the night and we have a small shed made out of, out of uh, coconut leaves. That's all we had. We hang it there. And when I was sitting inside in the night, I looked towards the darkness. And if you look into the abyss, the abyss starts staring at you. When I looked into the darkness, the darkness was staring back at me. So what I did, I left the campus. I went outside and stayed inside the darkness. And I looked inside my campus, there was a light. I could see anybody walking inside the campus. That gave me a lot of strength. I started walking around like a big time. If anybody comes with the one punch, you drag them and said, you get suddenly energy. On the weakness, if you go and work on it, you become more powerful. Hence, the warming up exercise says every part of your body works on the warming up exercise and on the stretching exercise every part is stretched if you can do this too only then you can start your kitchen work your office work any work for that matter and after you finish the work please go back to do the same stretching you can find a huge amount of energy plus when every part is worked you can get the total total thing beautifully done Joel Leonard Morgan said to obtain success. Success, he said, success is must work on weakness. There is no weakness, first of all. 
the weakness came because you slowly start depending on others or when more facilities came when more facilities came you started depending on that facility you must understand those facilities are robbers to cheat you to make you weak and when you become weak they become the master you become the slave foreign matter enters the body only when your body is weak foreign matter enters the body only if every part of the body is not booked every part of the body if you do warming up exercise and you stretch it up and you sweat it up you know you have to drink a huge amount of water it flushes the whole system one time in the camp i told tomorrow sunday i am going to teach you kriya so everybody was ready so i took one glass warm water mixed up with a little bit of salt i drank one glass two glass three glass four five glass and everybody was working five glass all this uh, teacher is drinking and then i i pump my stomach i put two fingers in my mouth held both hands on my knees spread my leg a little wide open and put two fingers into my throat and i vomit pum 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 the moment i started vomiting i heard a, a person laughing from behind his name is chambal karaja k k chandal from uh from himachal pradesh he was all in the heavy chair he was laughing i said bloody come chandal his name is chandal why are you laughing he said sir Guruji, I thought you are teaching something great technique. So I was so well prepared. Some kriya kriya you are going to teach. I said, this is not a kriya. It's just to cleanse the internal parts. He said, what internal parts? In our mandi, every day morning one big bendi ki bendi ki is the Indian kind of uh, what you call vessel. It comes uh, on the top a little open, and the bomb is just big. So it fills up the water. It doesn't spill out. So. People can hold it like this and walk, so that water doesn't spill much outside. He said that bending here, we take one in the hand, oh, we drink the whole, and we don't even have to put the finger. Oh, it comes, and every day. Oh. <laughs> the olden times, they are so strong, powerfully strong. If you work on the weakness, and what is the weakness? There is no weakness. Just equally, you love every part of your body. If you don't love every part of your body, and you work on every part of your body, when you become strong, you know that you have to work on every part of your wife, your children, mentally, physically, spiritually. Yes, to your father and mother, to your family, and from there you go to the joint family. Then you can never ever say. That the family tree was not strong because there was never a line called "idle mind is a devil's workshop." It never ever will be in your dictionary. That is a success. That success makes you the richest man in the world. That success, wherever you walk, you know your body is a diamond. God has given a diamond on your sweat, and when you walk every day, it shines. And you can see people are attracted. Anything you say, you are attracted. When you open your mouth, a thousand people listen. And you walk, a thousand people walk behind you. They call you a leader who leads, not yield to pressure tactics. Joel Leonard Morgan said to obtain success, you must get the most out of your life. And to do that, you must work on your weakness, overcome your weakness.